The Thompson is a Scandinavian legend of a mischievous gnome that guards farms and, and farm animals. So uh, it came from a kid's book that, uh, that I found when my kids were little and I was like, this fits and it definitely fits. Sometimes we have sightings, <laughs> little gnomes, and certainly yeah, if something goes missing, we tend to blame it on the Thompson because they do have that mischievous sort of aspect to them. I started off with a garden the first year we moved up here. So just to see what, you know, what I could grow. So I was doing it small scale for us. And then realized that this land really isn't about to me um, making a bunch of money. It's really about showing people and educating people and offering particularly young folks an opportunity to come check out some of their dreams. When the water's dry and the feelings fade, I'll be by your side when your mind's been made. So this is the 21st year with farm interns. We call it the Tompton Tribe now. We've had well over 100 come through Tompton Farm. So we have 100 Tomptons out there. There's still some food left for you, don't worry. Oh That's my cool. gosh, there's been food this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to leave, I've been like waiting. Thanks for making breakfast, Oh, it's John. hot. It's organic farming, it's permaculture, it's regenerative agriculture, it's holistic management. It's, I mean, basically everything that I've picked up over the year, I try to pass on. Just take the tops off, because then we might get one more week out of here. So basically, see how this is, there's a new little leaf. Our idea is let's give people the opportunity to try something. I mean, you learn the most from failing, but if you if you aren't encouraged to try, then then you won't. <laughs> Our audience. <laughs> this is what humans do to eat their food. <laughs> They're so weird. So these are the cotyledons, the big fat fleshy ones. So that's what comes in the seed itself. Mm -hmm. They're already formed, and then these are the first true leaves. And in most plants, the cotyledons are a different shape. So mm -hmm. you want to get these before the true leaves get very big because they're kind of, they're kind of hairy, scratchy. So. Hmm. I've like helped out on farms, but I've never fully worked on one before. And I have this vague dream of having my own farm one day. So it's cool to just see what it's actually like to We'll work on one and do farm work and how the best ways to set it up is. That tall one right in front of you, that's lamb's quarters. So that's a wild one that is really good, uh, really good steamed and it grows everywhere. A lot of people think they want to farm and so they're able to come up and uh, granted do a very small scale, but able to kind of see what's involved and also experience a different kind of lifestyle. This is all part of the Thompson Farm property as well. A lot of it's undeveloped. I live on a camper here on the farm. It's a really beautiful way to wake up to the sun just popping up over the mountain peaks. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my tiny home. <laughs> Woo! Oh, there she goes. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if you had like more questions or... It's kind of messy. This is Sushi, that's Haley's dog. But it's nice and spacious. <laughs> These dogs like it. I call this place reinventing the homestead. So we're taking the, trying to take the best of the traditional and add the new. And it's a good thing. It's in a, and I think it's a way of living that people um, may be yearning for. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this without interns. It's that human interaction that, that is really incredibly important. As I age and my husband ages, it's like we want to have people around us. Just, you know, it's fine. The ability to come together and work and play and eat, um, I think that's the connection that we, we tend to be missing as a society. <laughs> Okay.
tent, tables, tablecloth, sign, sign inside, goodies. Uh, farm box. Farm box is in the front seat. Okay. I think we're good. Every person brings their own perspective. Every person has a depth of knowledge that's unique. I've learned so much. I've learned so much from them. Some of them are still around locally, and some of them are far flung. Some of them are farming. Some are not doing farming at all. But pretty much every one of them says this experience changes their life somehow, generally positively, <laughs> which is good, which is good. Permaculture has three main ethics, care of people, care of the earth, and then they call it fair share, or reinvesting surplus back into the first two. So we do a lot of caring for the earth. And I think what the interns have taught me is how we can actually care for people, and through doing that, find ways of reinvesting in ourselves. Underneath an oh, answer when all that we see lies beyond us. Once all that we know is gone.